finally looks like it's going to be summer again. It's still a little bit cold out here. And yes, I'm wearing my first ever France jersey. Uh, kids are still asleep, so it's a perfect time to get a few things out there. And uh, before they wake up. And yes, I ran some numbers again. Let's see what changes. We know the two teams will drop to spots 15 and 16. I will see about the rest. Let's have a look. So let's look at the obvious first. We have here France beating Argentina for 3, Uruguay beating Portugal 2-1, and therefore we have Uruguay play France. Now, I realized yesterday that I actually should have flipped those two and then get the matchup that way, uh, because FIFA set it up so that France would have the home field advantage here. Yeah, I key still keep the format that we have A1 here, C1 here, E1 here, and uh, uh, G1 here, so, uh, but shouldn't be a big problem. And the rest of the tree didn't change a whole lot, except that France now got a stronger rating, so they are, they are a little bit more like to beat Brazil here. And of course, we have this new matchup where France is a 60 to 40 uh, favorite. Now, going up, the bottom of the tree, of course, didn't change. How could it? There were no games played. We'll see this tomorrow. Um, the biggest change, of course, is now that France, by the simple fact of already having qualified for the quarterfinal, is in second place now, thus pushing Belgium and Spain one spot down. Uh, Brazil also dropped, and now this is because France is in their way. Uh, Argentina would have been the easier opponent. Um, but it didn't drop as much as it would. Portugal would have qualified, so uh, it was, I think, only a 1% drop. Uh, roughly 1% drop here. Uh, of course, Uruguay rose quite some as well. They were in 11th spot, now they're in 5th. Also, to be expected, if you're qualified, you have the slightly easier route. But then you also see the difference. Not only are they rated lower, so for them it's harder to make it uh, to the final and win it all, but they also play France, and where they're, as we saw, they're not the favorites. And then, yeah, not too many changes, just shifting around, but we have Portugal slightly ahead of Argentina, because Portugal had five points in the group stage, and Argentina only managed four. Um, Argentina even had a negative goal differential, which would put them behind uh, Senegal and Iran, but they decided not to do that, because they made it to the second round, so I want to keep them. I want to order them within the stage they, they exited. So these are all the group stage. Uh, teams that were eliminated and here here we will get eventually all the teams that have been eliminated in round two and, and so on and so forth well let me know what you think about this uh, who you think will win it and with what chances you would put on it and i will talk to give you another prediction tomorrow until then if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.